guys, welcome to my little paintbrush. I am Miss Sarah and I love horses. And today we get to paint one of my favorites. And I'm gonna use a couple brushes to do it. I have a large flat, a medium flat, and a detail brush. These are my favorite brushes for this painting. You can change it, do whatever works for you. All of my colors are laid out on a plate for me. You see here, I've laid everything out. I also have separated my white into two piles. So if you have our paint kit and you have white in a little cup, make sure you split it up because you're gonna to need to do some mixing and we don't wanna contaminate it all at once, right? You're also going to need a jar of water or maybe even a cup of water. That works great, and a napkin. I have traced my horse onto my canvas. If you have our paint kit, it's traced for you. Otherwise, a pattern is available on our website. So let's get started. I can't wait to paint this. We get to do some color mixing. Have some fun. You have lots of colors to choose from. You don't have to put it where I put it. You can mix this up, okay? But I love the colors. One of my favorite things. Also, although we have florals on this horse, you don't have to paint the floral, the flowers on it, okay? We can just bring up the headline um, here and fill it in. I'll show you how to do that so you can paint it with or without the flowers. It's a wonderful thing. First of all, though, we want to get our background in. So I'm going to first mix a little bit of white and my turquoise together. Just like this, I wanna lighten it up and I'm using my large flat to do it. I did put my brush in water first. Remember to always do that. Our acrylic paint needs water. It gets very thirsty. So make sure you first put your brush in some water to get it ready to go. And once you have mixed your white and turquoise together and you have the color you love, you can go ahead and start painting around the trace on your canvas, the tracing on your canvas, the pattern, whatever you want to call it. All right, so I'm going to put it in. If you notice white streaks in my painting, it's because I love to not over mix and I like to have those, those streaks of color in my background. So you'll see that probably as we go. That's pretty typical of me. All right, so here we go. Let's put this color in, following our horse's head. I'm doing my best not to paint inside my horse. If I do, it's okay. We're gonna, that's why we're doing the background first, because you are going to be painting all of that in later. All right, so don't forget these little strands of hair here at the, between your ear and your hair. We want to fill those in with your background color. And of course, if you didn't choose turquoise, you can paint this any color you want, right? I'm gonna paint around my flowers. Okay, like this, I'm gonna show you two ways to do this. All right, so my turquoise is in and I love it. You can also reach up and paint the top of your canvas and the sides, you know, whatever you're feeling. Now right here, remember I said you can take the flowers out if you want to. So if you don't want the flowers, I want you to go ahead and shape out your horse's head right here and just put your background in just like that, okay? So either way, you can have flowers or shape out that head and fill it in. Okay, I'm gonna rinse my brush. I have my background in, ready to go. And now I'm going to paint my horse's color, which is brown. But surprisingly, I add a little red to my brown. I wanted to give it a little bit of a reddish hue to it. I had a horse that had that red color. So I added a little bit to it. Just to remind, it just reminded me of my childhood horsey. So I'm gonna mix just a little bit of red with my brown. Not a lot, just a little bit. And I'm gonna add some white to it, of course. You can kind of see it more now, show up in there. Okay, so I have kind of, I don't know, a brownish red color. You can go ahead and just paint it all brown. You don't have to add the red to your horse's color. 
I just like it, so I did. That's personal, up to you. Let's start by filling in our horse. Now I'm going to paint the neck here right off my canvas and I'm brushing up and down as I go. Okay, but when I get to my cheekbone here, I don't wanna lose that trace, I wanna keep it. So I'm painting just below it so I can see it okay. You're also going, I'm going to be adding a shade of um, blue to it. So I'm not worried about whether that line shows or not. You're going to paint right over it with blue. So we're going to fill this in. We're starting by first putting in all of that brown. We're going to come here to where that, um, what is that called? Collar. It has a name. I lost it all of a sudden. But right there to that. <laughs> We're going to wrap around it. All right. My brain went dead on me. And then let's paint around the nose as well. All the way to the top of the, the back here of our horse. Around the nose. Again, you can decide how close you want to paint to that if you aren't worried about losing that outline. I'm not on the nose because my nose is going to be white right there. I'm going to paint all the way around it. Let it dry before we move on. All right, paint around the mouth. There we go. Okay, it's looking good. Now we're gonna start painting the head. Okay, so I'm gonna paint here. Again, if you don't want the flowers, brush right on up here, okay, and fill that in if you don't want the flowers. Okay, I'm gonna come here right along. Oh, the harness. There it is. I, I remembered. I suddenly remembered the word. The harness. All right, so I'm just painting carefully around my harness with this reddish brown that I created. Kind of come around that. Okay. Got that cheekbone done. Now we're going to come here finish up right around the mouth. Again, I'm trying to keep my brush strokes the same. I obviously have to go around my tracing pretty carefully, but I'm trying to make sure my brush strokes go up and down because that will show where the horse's fur is lying and how it's lying and what direction it's lying. So it's important that you pretend your, your paintbrush is like a hairbrush and you're brushing your horse. Okay, I'm going to go right around here. Now you can go around this little nostril so you don't lose it. All right? Just try and keep those brush strokes going. I'm going to leave a little bit of white here so I can see where my mouth lies, right along here. I'm trying to be pretty careful there, so don't lose that. There we go. Okay, I'm gonna move up here, around my eye. Go around the eye shape. best you can and the harness okay beautiful don't worry too much if you paint over anything a little bit we're gonna be 
bring it in our color here in a minute. That won't even matter. We're just doing our best here. Okay, again, I'm brushing as if my paintbrush is a hairbrush. Okay, so I want to make sure that I'm brushing that direction. So my horse, horse's fur lies that way. Perfect. Get that nose finish up there. Okay. Love it. Okay. Now I'm going to show you how we add a little bit of shading to our horse. And again, you don't want those flowers. Just fill this in. Fill it in with the brown. You don't have to have the flowers. Okay, so now the way we do our shading on our horse is I want it lighter here and darker here. So it looks like I have a shadow going on, right? Also, don't forget this part. Ooh, I almost forgot it. Right here in the middle of the harness in the head. Get that little spot there. Okay. So when I am painting this horse, I want to add some shading. Now here's the idea. The idea is that there is some shadow right along the cheekbone. So it's a little bit darker, okay? And it's a little bit lighter towards the harness over here. And then you have some light coming right along here, along the harness, but it's darker close to the nose. So there's different areas that is darker. It's obviously gonna be darker under the head because it's casting a shadow, but it's gonna be lighter here on the neck. So I'm gonna take some of my white here and mix it, okay, with some of my dark brown and get a lighter shade right here. And then I'm gonna paint a lighter shade of brown just along that outside edge of my horse's neck, okay? So you're just gonna take that lighter brown, just mix a little bit of it, paint that along that outer edge, just like that. It automatically gives you that, oh, that's probably a lot lighter than I need. Blend that in. It's gonna give you that lighter shade there than with the rest of the horse. And then I'm gonna keep it darker as I go towards under the chin there, right? I want to keep it darker because it's casting a shadow. Okay. There we go. So I keep it darker there, but I lighten it up over here. So there's my lighter shade. Okay. And now again, this is going to be darker or along the cheekbone, but lighter towards the harness. There we go. Okay. And then I'm going to use that lighter shade to paint along the harness up here. Just like that. Just let it be a little lighter up here along the harness. But darker around the eye as I get closer to my nose. So you can just kind of play around with that. If you want to, I'm gonna do some light here, just along the edge of the harness as well. Some lighter brown. Let it kind of come down the bottom of the mouth. Just like that. And I'm gonna let it be darker as I get closer to my nose. Like Little things like that just give our horse some um, dimension and character. I'm gonna do the same over here. So I'm just gonna follow the edge of my nose with a lighter shade. But then as I come underneath, I leave it darker. So there's a shade under here. It's not, not as light. It kind of shows where the, the light is hitting. There we go. And that's it guys, that's all you're gonna do. Make sure you have a good layer on here, on your horse, love it. Okay, now we're going to also do our ears. So I'm gonna come right up here to my ears. I'm gonna go ahead and 
fill it in with some brown. I'm using the toe of my brush right now. You can switch to a smaller brush if that's easier for you. You have to do what works for you on this. Okay, but I'm painting right to the harness. Okay, your ears uh, painted in. I'm gonna paint this one as well. I'm not painting the hair just yet because the hair is actually a shade darker than this brown. So first, we're just gonna make sure we get that layer of brown on the ear, just like that. Okay, our harness is here, perfect. Now let's do our hair. So I wanted the, the hair or the mane to be a lot darker than the brown so it would stand out. So what I'm going to do is add a little bit of black to my brown. So instead of having red and brown only for the horse, I'm gonna now have red, brown, and black. I'm just gonna make a darker shade. It just takes a touch of black, guys. You don't wanna add too much black because it gets dark really fast. So just a touch of black will give you this darker mean and color. And when you're ready, you can go ahead and fill it in all the way, all the way around. And we'll come back and add those detail lines later. Don't worry about them right now. All right, we have one kind of sticking up right off the canvas here. Go. It comes around there, kind of droops by that me or the harness. I'm just gonna fill it in, and you're gonna notice because you added some black to it, you get some shades happening. You get dark shades, light shades of hair or mane, I guess is what we're calling it, and that just makes it so fun. So you can just leave those strokes that show up. All right, come all the way down, and back up. There we go. I'm trying again to brush in the direction of the hair. So it's like I'm brushing this mane with a hairbrush so that my brush strokes go that way and give the illusion that we have actual hair. Okay. Awesome. So hopefully you can see there it is a shade darker than the horse. It's what we want. Put a little bit of dark there. Awesome. Kind of flips up right there, right? Kind of flips up on us. Okay. Perfect. All right. So before we move on, I did forget one little thing. <laughs> Our horse's eyelid right here Use a detail brush to come right over here and give our horse um, some brown showing up just here on the corner where his eye is on the other side. Okay, you're just going to create a rainbow shape there and paint it in. Perfect. Our horse is drying and we're going to let it just keep drying here for just a second. And let's make our harness color. Okay, so I'm going to use a smaller flat brush that fits into my harness better. And I'm going to make a lighter pink shade with white and red. I'm going to mix those together. You can see how I'm getting a light shade of, of pink here. Okay, we're just going to fill in our harness. We're going to give us a layer right along here before we fill in that connecting piece. Go, we're gonna go back and forth, make sure we have a nice rainbow shape curve there. 
on our harness. And it curves around to the other side a little bit. Awesome. Trying to clean up that line. There it is. Okay. And we're going to add it right along here from our flower. Now, if you are painting the whole head, what you would do is bring this all the way up to wrap around the head right there. Okay. So if you're not doing the flowers, you can bring that up. Otherwise, just meet that edge of your flower with the paint. Okay. And now let's do right below here. There it is. And it curves around and it's about the width of my brush but I want to give it a nice even stroke there as we come to the edge of our mouth mm -hmm. make it a little darker lovely I got it a little too pink right there I want it a little darker so I'm putting one more layer of my red on there I wanted my nice and dark and back up there we go so there's your harness ready to go the other thing we're gonna paint pink is the top part of the harness here and then the inside of the ear. So before you move on, make sure you don't forget your little harness up here coming into the, the hair. Make sure it's nice and dark here. There we go. And then we're gonna paint the inside of the ear pink as well. Same color as my harness. All the way up. Okay, how are we doing guys? Hopefully you're having fun with this. <clears throat> I love it, I love it, it's so fun. All right, so we have our harness on here. Now I'm gonna rinse my brush. Make sure it's nice and clean. Okay, and my brown should be dry enough now that I can do some of my blue highlighting but first I just want to make sure this nose is nice and white so I'm going to take a brush and just paint my nose you can go along and cover anything if you accidentally painted too much into your nose and you don't love it you can just paint right over it with your white real quick this is your chance to kind of clean it up I'm going to paint right along here we go just like that okay so now I am ready to do my blue highlighting on my horse but you before you do this you want to make sure your horse is really dry okay so I kind of just touch it to make sure it's good and this is kind of a fun way of adding some color to your work so let's mix some white and turquoise together okay Make us a nice light turquoisey color, just like that. Okay, and then I'm going to use a medium flat brush that's a little bit damp, and I'm going to put some of that turquoise on the corner of it, like that. Right, we call this floating. And first, I'm going to float just right under the jawline. So I'm going to come right along here. This is a fun way to show off that horse's jawline without um, doing a lot of complicated stuff. 
kind of a fun, pretty way of showing it off. And I'm going to come right across here where my um, harness is as well and keep going so I can kind of finish it off right under the mouth. Okay, and it can thin out as you go or you can let it be really thick, that's up to you. And then I'm also going to add it right along the edge of the neckline, right here, brush it around, brush it in. This won't work very well if your paint is wet. <laughs> so you just wanna make sure your paint is dry so you can brush in that turquoise. Okay, and then we're gonna put a little bit more just along the eye. Now the eye, the way this works with the eye, or not the eye, but the right along to the eye, the head here with the turquoise, the way this works is you're going to follow this white nose outline. So you're going to come around with the blue and follow the loops on your white. Okay, so I'm going to again put turquoise on the corner of my brush. I'm going to start right here and I'm looping my blue with my white so it goes exactly as my white is going. See how it's following it? I'm going to do that all the way down. Skip the eye. Okay. Come to the harness here. There we go. And then keep following it all the way down to the very tip of the white there, where the white on your nose ends. So it just follows the white and stops. Isn't that fun? And it's so, it's amazing how bright it stands out. Like it really stands out quite a bit and I love that. Okay, so beautiful. Let's go ahead and add some of that shading to the white now. So I'm gonna put white on my brush, it's on one corner. Okay, and put white on it, I'll show you. And then turquoise on the other corner, just like that. You can also um, outline it if that's easier for you you can outline as well. But I'm just gonna follow my hair, or my mane here, with that turquoise facing the edge of my mane. And this is adding a little bit of a shadow. As soon as you run out of it, just put a little more on your brush. Go ahead and finish it off. And I'm gonna follow the edge of the white on my nose too. Like that. Okay, I'm gonna follow it all the way down. I'm trying to make sure it's dark enough that you can see it. There we go. You can have it really dark or you can Keep it pretty light. That's up to you on that. I love the color, so I just keep it going. There we go all the way to the edge. And there you have it. Complete it. Very tippy point of the nose. Then let's rinse our brush. Let that dry a second. And now I'm going to have you take either a flat brush or a detail brush and we're going to put white on the corner and you can do this with your detail brush as well if it's easier for you. But we're going to put all of the curves in our hair with white first or in the main. Okay, so you can use a detail brush to do this. But the, the idea is to take the white to the ear like that and we'll come back and I'll show you how to do it with the line brush as well so that is with a flat brush or you can take a line brush okay and we'll add the white that way so there's different options and um, this one here is going to start at the ear 
and wrap around just like that. And then this one, we're going to come down this way and wrap around. I'm going to come from that corner again and come back down to the point of that one. It's really bright right now, <laughs> but we'll come back and we're going to add that blue to it and it finishes it off for us. Okay, and then I have a little bit on the outside of the ear right there, just like that. Okay, love it. Perfect. Okay, and then right here in the ear, I'm gonna put some little hairs, kind of sticking up, doing it with some, some white that was on my brush from the in the main there. Okay, a couple hairs and we'll put blue over that as well. So let's let that dry just a minute. Perfect. We're getting there guys. You've almost got it. Okay, so while that is drying, let's work on the eye. So I'm going to go here to my eye now and paint it black. So you have a circle traced on here for your eye. Let's go ahead and paint it black. I like to outline it first. Just like that. I outline it and then I fill it in. So fill in your eye. Start getting some placement here of everything. So there's that. Let's do our nose as well. It is black right here, this little nostril. There we go. Fill in the nostril. There we go, perfect. And then we're going to make some gray to fill this in. So I'm gonna take my brush and mix some black and white together. We're going to make a light gray for that connector piece. Okay. And the first thing we need to do is just create that oval shape with gray. Just like this. So once you have it, just paint that oval shape. You can use a flat brush for this or a detail brush. We're gonna paint that in first. Let it sit just a minute and dry. Rinse your brush. Okay, if you need to pause the video, you can. Okay, you don't have to keep up with me on this. Awesome. All right, now if you're doing the flowers, while we let that dry, we're gonna come over here and put our flower in. So my top flower is a light pink. So I'm going to make a light pink to start with like this, make a really light pink. We don't want it too dark. Okay. And the first thing we need to do is honestly just create these um, rainbow shapes all the way around. Okay. All the way around. That horse. So I've got all these rainbow shapes and it doesn't have to be perfect. And I'm just gonna fill it in. We're gonna let that be for a minute. Rinse your brush. Beautiful. Okay, and now let's go back up here. And I'm gonna put some of that turquoise on the corner of my brush. And we're just gonna brush it on top of our white. It's so much brighter when you wait a second and then paint right over it. It's like, oh, so pretty. Okay, so now I'm going to go back over it with the turquoise. Make sure it has a nice little coat of color there. There we go. Keep it, finishing it up. If it's not dry, you'll want to wait a minute. You want your white to be pretty dry before you do it. There we 
There we go. Now you have that colorful, colorful horse's mane. And if you want to leave some of that white showing, you can. You don't have to do all of it turquoise. I like to keep some of the white showing, so I'm going to put some of it back because I covered too much of it. <laughs> I like the white. So if you want to put some more white back in, you can. This is your creative piece, so have some fun with it. Do what feels good to you. There we go. I like that. Okay. And then while you're at it, go ahead and come up here to where you put those white little hairs sticking into the ear and brush in some turquoise there if you want to. Lovely. And while that flower takes a minute to dry, we're going to go ahead and finish up our eye. So I'm going to mix. Um, for an eyelid, I'm going to mix some of my brown and red and yellow together, but I'm going to get a really light shade. Not as dark as my horse, so it's my horse color, but I'm adding white to it. Okay, You could do a light brown if you want, that works too, but once you have that shade on there, you can go ahead and come over here to your horse and paint in an eyelid. You're just going to come right over the top of it like that right over the top of the eye curve it like a rainbow shape awesome curve that out give us a nice eyelid right there rinse your brush now we're going to add some white to our eye so I'm going to come here we're going to give us a little smile there, right along the bottom of our eye, a little bit of a, a reflection. Awesome. And if you feel like you got too much of a reflection, like I do, I'm going to take some of it off with some black. There we go. Okay. And then flip your brush around, use the back of your brush, dip it in some white, Okay, and give it a couple of dots of reflection, light reflecting in the eye. I'm just going to do one and two right there. Awesome. Love it. Okay, so we have our eyelid. Hopefully you can see it pretty well. I'm trying to brighten it up so you can see it a little bit better on the camera. It's just white and brown and red mixed together to give us that pretty eyelid. Okay, rinse your brush. Good work. Let's go ahead and finish up here. Okay, now to make it look like it's facing, you know, this direction to your left, we're going to put some white here along the edge. Just as if you're painting a little bit of a, a smile shape around it. It's going to go right around the edge there. Okay. And then you're going to take black and go all around that, just under the, yellow, the white. Follow it around. All we needed to wait for that white to dry. <laughs> you just want the edge to be black. So wait a second. You can float it too. I like to float it better. See, I'll go around it with black. So you can outline it if you want to. Just wait for that white to dry before you do. Or you can float the edge with black. So just put black on the corner of your brush like that. Okay, face it out and go around the edge with the black. If you prefer that over um, outlining like I do. I like to float. It's a lot easier for me. But you can do the same thing with an outline. Just give that white a second to dry for you. 
Otherwise you make it harder on yourself like I just did. By not waiting. There we go. Okay. So the outside edge is black and then you have this white or, or the inside edge is black and you have the white around the outside. Nice and white. We want it to stand out. There it is. Perfect. And then all you're going to do is add a little bit of a line through the center with black. Not all the way across. I just kind of did halfway. And I'll add a highlight in a minute as soon as that gray is dry. And there you have it. Okay, let's go back up for a minute. Let that dry. One other thing I should have had you do, and I spaced it. You see his nostril here? The eyelid and the nostril are the same color. So right after you paint that eyelid, I should have had you just outline your nostril with that same eyelid color, and I completely just spaced that. So go ahead and go back there real quick while you have that color on your palette. Then you can just outline your nostril with it. It's a fun little detail to put on there. Okay, now let's take our small flat brush. I'm gonna make a light yellow this time for my yellow flower like this. I'm going to come over here to my yellow flower. We're just going to again create these rainbow shapes. This one goes right over my pink. That's why I wanted my pink to dry a minute. Because this flower goes right over it. Okay. So I just create this rainbow loop all the way around. Make sure it's nice and covered. We'll come back and do some more fun things with it in a minute. Let that sit for just a second. Perfect. Okay, and we're going to finish up these eyes. So I have put some eyelashes on these eyes. But first we're going to finish up the eyelid. Just outline it with black. Okay, and then as you come um, down, we're going to curve eyelashes that you're not really going to see right now, so don't panic. I just did three little sloops of eyelashes. You can't really see it super well, but as soon as those eyelashes are on there, you're going to take white in just a minute, okay, and outline with white and that will help it stand out so you can now see the eyelashes coming down see that just have to put that little highlight on there all right so now that we have finished our eyelid and around the nose. Let's go back to our flowers for just a minute. Let everything dry a second. And I'm going to do my pink flower first. And the way we do these flowers, now that we have that light pink in there, you can either float this part or use a detail or line brush to do it. I like to float it. <laughs> you know me, I'm a floater. I'm going to use um, some red on one corner of my brush, white on the other corner. Okay, I'll show you both ways, but this is how I like to do it. So I'm going to start this way, and I face the red out, and I curve my brush here in that rainbow shape all the way around. Okay. Now, if you wanted to do this with a line brush, you can. You're just going to do the outline of the red first, and then you're going to paint under it white. So, I mean, it just depends on what's easiest for you, what you prefer to do. I'm going to go all the way around here, kind of finish it up. Now, the idea with this flower, whether you're doing it with a line brush or floating like me, the idea now with the petals is you want the petals to go in between these. Okay, so my next petals will come right in the center of those 
outside petals. So I'm going to circle around and kind of keep it in the center of those outside ones. And that gives us just this easy, beautiful flower. And I'm going to do the center ones the same. Just go around that center in the middle of those petals, just like that. And again, if you don't want to float it like I am, like this, okay, you can take a line brush, looks like this, right? Take your line brush. You can put red on your line brush and go around the edges of your petals with red, just like I did with the floating. So I'm going to show you both ways here. Go around with red. So if I were to do a line brush, it would look like this. I would just follow where my red is, when, where I floated it. Go around it with the red. Do the center ones the same. So it looks like that. Okay, and then I put white on the tip of my brush and put white in the center like that all the way around. So it has a little bit of a different look about it but it's the same idea. You just put white right in the middle, okay? So there's two ways to do that flower. Either way looks awesome. Um, we're gonna let that dry and let's do our yellow one. So same way, I'm gonna put yellow on the corner of my floating brush and white on the other. And I'll go around with my yellow facing out all the way around my flowers. If you decided not to paint this horse with flowers, you can skip this part. Give us just a minute. We're just gonna wrap it around. Just like that. Okay, now once I've done the outside petals, now I'm gonna do the inside the same way, only I'm going to wrap those petals down the center part of those outside petals. So where the outside petals connect, that's where my inside petals will go around. Just like that. Then I have my middle one, same way, go all the way around. It's about three of them in the middle, actually. And again, you can do this with your line brush, okay? If you prefer to use your line brush, just take it and outline those petals with your line brush. Same way I just did with my floating. Only you're going to now take white and go in the center as well, right? So once you do that, you'll put white on the tip of your brush and go inside those petals and put white in there. Otherwise, we're gonna leave it just like that and let it be. Okay, so we're gonna let that dry a minute. Let's go ahead and outline and just finish up our horse here. Use some black, make sure that your black is thin. Add some water to it, thin it out. Okay, and I'm gonna just outline my horse right along the edge here. Helps it really stand out a little bit there. Okay. Finish it all the way around here. I do outline here even though I have the blue. This is a personal preference. If you would rather not outline your horse, don't even do it. You're totally fine not to. But let's add a little bit of a smile. I'm gonna come up right here where my mouth curves, just under that nostril. Okay, and we're gonna come up and give our horse a little smile. Just kind of a squiggly line there. Also, I'm gonna add some eyelashes over here on the other side where that eye is. Just curve out two little lashes or more to finish that up before you move on. Okay, let's finish up our jaw, our jawline right here. Give it a little bit of an outline just on the um, inside of that blue. along the jaw. There we go. Now you can really see it, right? It just 
helps it stand out a little bit. That neckline right there. Let's go ahead and do the ear. Right up. I bring that ear in a little bit and curve it just where that hair is. And I'm going to outline just a little bit of the inside of that ear. That way you can see it better. Now you can choose to outline the hair or not. This is optional, okay? Um, you can go ahead and outline all of the different strands of hair if you want to. It does help to add, you know, those low lights to the hair, but that is an extra detail and sometimes our artists prefer not to do it. So that is optional for you. You kind of fill that out with what you prefer. Okay, just gonna quickly outline a little bit of it. Don't wanna smear my eyelashes over here though. That wouldn't be good. There we go. Don't forget your ear up here. We don't wanna leave it out. There we go. Okay, looks so awesome. Love it guys. So the other thing that I do outline is I went ahead and outlined my harness as well. So if you'd like to go ahead and do that, you can. It it helps it stand out a little bit against the horse so you can see it. But again, that is optional, okay, on whether or not you want to do that. I just went right along the edge and you can usually get a nice clean sweep with your brush if you have enough water in your brush or in your paint. Otherwise, it's not gonna go on very smooth. So water down that paint Spin it out. There we go. There's your harness. See how it just helps it stand out a little bit? A little bit there. All right, so we gotta finish up our flowers. I'm just gonna rinse my brush. It looks so nice. And we're gonna make some leaf color by just mixing some green and yellow together here with a touch of white, okay? So I'm gonna mix here my green and yellow, touch of white there until you get a green you like. And I'm gonna add a flower right between the pink and the yellow and the way, I, or not a flower, a leaf. <laughs> the way I like to teach a leaf is you create a smile shape and then connect it with a rainbow like that and then fill it in with that green that you like so just create a smile connect it with a rainbow put on as many layers as you need to to love it then over here I'm going to add another one coming out the corner so there's my rainbow shape connect it with a smile fill it in We have another here pointing the other direction so you get your smile shape and connect it with the rainbow and fill it in. And that is your last leaf, that's the last I did. Now if you want to, you can add another layer of green if you feel like it needs it. Sometimes when you're covering brown, you might need another layer of green. So maybe pause the video, let it dry a second, add another layer. Here we go. So we have our green on there. Guys, we're about finished rinsing my brush here. Now I'm gonna add some highlights while that green is drying. So let's put some white on our detail brush and just add a little bit of light in our ear. I do two little light streaks right there. And then I'm gonna add some to my, my uh, harness, just like that, just a couple little streaks of white. Wherever you add dark, it's always nice to add a highlight. And I'm gonna put some right here, 
help it have a little reflection. I'm gonna put some in the nose as well right there. And just along the top of the mouth, a little bit there. Nice, love it. Okay, so highlight the hair anywhere you want. I tend to highlight the tips. <laughs> I like the way that looks. Love that. Yeah, look how pretty. So pretty. Okay, now let's do the center of our flowers. I'm gonna add a couple little dots of white. You can use the back of your brush or the tip of your detail brush for that. Okay. And then I'm gonna put a little bit of a white highlight in my leaf. Helps it stand out, just like that. One there, and then put one right here. Yeah, I like that. Rinse your brush. Now here's one thing I like to do. I take my largest brush, flip it over, use the back of it. And this is a fun way to add some little flowers flower details and fill in space without a lot of effort. So I'm gonna just dot in some little white flowers, right? Such a fun way to just add that without too much effort. Put a couple here. Anywhere you're feeling it. I'm even gonna add some in the blue up here because I like that. I like to fill in these little spaces with flowers. Just finishes it, right? Now wipe off your brush and let's put some red on the back of it for the center of this flower. I put three little red dots in the center of that one or four, however many you want. I'm going to put yellow on the other one. So rinse your brush dot in some yellow, just like that. So cute. Okay, if you need to pause the video for just a second, go ahead and do that and finish up your flowers. I'm going to go ahead and just add a little bit of a black outline to some of the flowers. See how it separates my harness there? And I'm gonna put one here. And then one here just to separate my yellow and pink flower. I'm gonna put one there and here. I imagine this black as being a simple way of adding some shadow to my painting. So I'm gonna add some here to the edge of my leaf. A little bit to this one. See how it just separates it. It's a simple way of adding that without too much effort on your part. And there you go, guys. There is your beautiful horse. I love it so much. All right, now find a special place for your signature. You worked so hard on this. I hope you're as proud of it as I am. And let's find a spot for that signature. I'm gonna put Sarah over here along the nose. <laughs> and there you have it, guys. Thank you for painting with me. Hope you had a good time. If you liked it, be sure to give us a thumbs up, tag us at My Little Paintbrush, and we'll see you next time. Bye.